Hello guys and girls, this is V and you're watching Movies Hunter. Today I'm going to talk about a drama thriller film released in 2010 called The Housemaid. Trigger warning, there's going to be scenes that depict suicide. Okay, so the film opens on a busy city street in Korea where a young woman commits suicide by jumping off a building. Now, at this nearby restaurant, Yoon Yi arrives with her co-worker and her roommate to work there. Later on, Yoon Yi and her friend drive to the scene where the girl committed suicide. The next morning, an old woman named Byung Sik goes to Yoon Yi's apartment, as Yoon Yi kind of applied for a full-time housemaid job for a wealthy couple. Now, after this really short interview, the old lady hires Yoon Yi. Soon after moving into the new house, she meets the wife named Heira, who is pregnant with twins. Wow. Now she welcomes Yoon Yi and tells her what is expected of her. Byung Sik is also like a housemaid who has been looking after Heira since she was a child. Now the next morning, Yoon Yi meets the couple's young daughter, Nami, who returns from her school. Oh, I like her name. Since Yoon Yi's job is also to take care of Nami, she tries to connect with her. At night, while having dinner, Nami tells her mother that she likes Yuni and she would like her to stay. Later, the husband, Hoon, returns home. The couple is impressed with Yuni's hard work and decides to hire her permanently. The next morning, Byung Sik and Yuni prepare breakfast for the couple. Yuni then goes to serve Hoon, who is playing the piano. <laughs> Yuni is feeling a bit attracted to him, but she controls herself. She has now become comfortable with the family and helps Heira shower, does her nails, and so on. Now at night, Hoon returns home and heads straight to the bathroom to shower, but finds Yuni cleaning the tub. Instead of asking her to leave, he stares at her for a while. One night, Hoon and Heira try romancing, but are unable to do so because of Heira's pregnancy. Despite numerous attempts, Hoon is not satisfied and is frustrated. So when Heira falls asleep, Hoon comes downstairs and sees Yoon Yi half naked in her bed. She covers herself with a blanket, but Hoon tells her to be silent and gives her a glass of wine. Oh no. He then tells her to remove the blanket and at first she was like, oh no, I shouldn't do this. But she does anyway. Hoon then seduces her by touching her all over her body. Yi. Yoon Yi does not stop him as she too is getting aroused. While everyone in the house is asleep, Yoon Yi and Hoon get romantic. That's... Mm, gross. The next day, Yuni continued doing all her household work and even helps Hera, who is completely unaware of her husband's affair. At day, Yuni is just a housemaid who works for the couple, but at night, she becomes a romantic partner of Hoon, who longs to satisfy his physical desires. Uh. Yuni also befriended Nami and would tell her bedtime stories every night. Now, one night, Hoon returns home from work and gives Yuni a bonus for working hard. Byung Sik gets suspicious of this as Hoon is getting too generous towards her. So later that night, she goes to Yunya's room to spy on her and catches her romancing Hoon. But instead of confronting her, Byung Sik pretends that she doesn't know anything. Despite the affair, Yunyi is still warm and friendly towards Hera and even expresses joy and delight at the progress of her pregnancy. Wow, she's a great actress, really. But Byung Sik is fed up with this and one night she confronts Yunyi about the sudden change in her. She tries to pry the truth out of Yuni, Yi, but Yuni Yi casually brushes her off, saying that she is still the same. Since Yuni Yi is not revealing her affair with Hoon, Byung Zi goes to meet Hera's mother, Mihi, and reveals to her about Yuni's Yi's affair with Hoon. She also suspects that Yuni Yi is pregnant with Hoon's child. Oh no. So Mihi decides to visit the family and stage an accident to find out whether Yuni Yi is really pregnant or not. So one day, when Yuni climbs on a ladder to clean the chandelier, Mihi intentionally trips, causing Yuni to fall from the ladder. Yuni somehow manages to dangle from the chandelier and begs Mihi to pull her over the railing. But Mihi does not help her, and because of this, Yuni falls on the floor. Luckily, she only gets a concussion and will have to spend the night at the hospital. During the checkup, the doctors also perform a pregnancy test on Yuni and learn that she indeed is pregnant. Mihi then goes to see Hera and tells her everything. Oh no, drama. Mihi tells her to leave her husband, but Hera refuses. Back at the hospital, Yuni also learns about her pregnancy. Her friend advises her not to return to the mansion and instead go for an abortion. But soon after recovering from the concussion, Yuni returns to the mansion, thinking that no one knows about her affair or her pregnancy. Dumbass. Hoon is away on a business trip and isn't home. Hera gets furious at Yuni's return and she is just burning up inside. I would be too. 
So later that night, she goes to Yuni's room to kill her using a golf club, but she stops knowing that killing her would be too extreme. So the next day, she confronts Yuni about her affair with her husband and even slaps her repeatedly. Yuni tearfully apologizes and begs for forgiveness, blah blah blah, and Hera and her mother offer a hundred million won to Yuni for aborting her baby and leave the mansion for good. Oh my god, that's actually like... <sighs> Where do I get these kind of offers? Come on, man. She's lucky. Now, although Yuni accepts their offer, she's rich. Heira knows that Yuni is not going to abort her baby for money so easily. After seeing Yuni bullied by Heira and her mother, Byung Sik has a change of heart and tells Yuni not to leave, not until she gets proper closure with Hoon. Yuni struggles to decide whether to abort the child or not, but after talking to Nami, Yuni develops this strange urge to raise a child like her and decides to keep a baby. So Hera decides to take matters into her own hands and poisons the herbal medicine packets that Yuni drinks every day. Oh no. So one day, Hera and Nami leave for the hospital as Hera is about to give birth to twins. Hoon also returns from his business trip and is excited to become a father again. Hoon happily tries to kiss Hera, but she doesn't kiss him back, which frustrates Hoon. Frack you, Hoon. At night, Yuni drinks the herbal medicine packets and the poison slowly shows its effects. When Hoon returns home, Yuni reveals to him that she is pregnant and plans on keeping the baby. Hoon is just stunned to learn about the pregnancy and doesn't know what to say. The poison eventually shows its effects and Yuni becomes sick. So she is rushed to the hospital where Mihi arranges an abortion without Yuni's consent. Now byung -sik watches the entire operation in horror and is helpless. She can't do anything to help Yuni. After the operation, byung -sik reveals to Yuni that she was the one who told Mihi about Yuni's pregnancy. She apologizes to her for revealing her affair with Hoon as she never imagined that things would turn out this way. She also tells Yuni to move on and try to live a happy life, but Yuni can no longer return to her normal life as she has lost her will to live. Whereas Hoon and Hera reconcile and decide to move on and start afresh. After recovering from the abortion, Yuni returns to her friend's apartment and tries to move on, but is unable to forgive the couple for ruining her life. So she decides to take revenge on the family and drives to their mansion. With the help of Young Seek, Yuni manages to sneak inside the house and breastfeeds one of the twins. Okay. Hoon comes there and is stunned to see Yuni there, but he somehow manages to get hold of the twins and tells Yuni to leave, but she is no longer the same person she used to be. So the trauma of losing her child has twisted her mind. Meanwhile, the entire family scold and humiliate Byung Sik for letting Yun Yi in and order her to chase Yun Yi out. <laughs> Sounds like a dog. But Byung Sik has enough of humiliation and just gets the job on the spot. Now just then, Yun Yi comes there and confronts the entire family. She tells Nami to be a good girl and to pursue her dreams. Inspirational. She then hangs herself from the same chandelier she once clung to and lights her body on fire. The family watches in horror as Yuni burns to death. Although they get to safety, Nami watches her mother-like figure burn to death. I'm just honestly scared and sad for Nami. The traumatic thingy that she has to overcome after this is just... That's just bad. Time passes by and the family move to a new place where they are celebrating Nami's birthday. They have hired new housemaids and seem to have completely forgotten the incident. But it looks like Nami is still haunted by what she witnessed that night and I think she will never be able to move on from this. I do hope she does. And so this is the story of the housemaid. Subscribe, comment down your thoughts, and I'm gonna see you in the next hunt. Bye!